Good morning friends. In this video, I'll be showing you repair of a locked bucket handle tear of the meniscus. This is a really difficult problem and the patient presents with a locked episode in the knee and you can see that there is a very large fragment which involves around 70% of the meniscus is locked inside the knee joint into the notch in a bucket handle fashion. And this leads to locking and severe pain in the knee. When we go inside, we can see that this tear is in the right wide zone. And it is very good to repair this tear as compared to doing a partial medial meniscectomy, which was standard treatment a few years ago. Unfortunately, it is still performed at some centers, but we strongly re recommend that the tears which are like this should be repaired. The technique is we need to first reduce the meniscus with a probe like this. We might need to do a little pie crusting of the MCL in this fashion and then we will proceed to start the repair of the meniscus. There are many techniques of doing a meniscus uh, repair and here we are doing a technique which is called as a inside out meniscus repair with a cannula system known as a zone specific cannula system and by this there are different kind of cannula which are available 0 degree 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree and 40 degree and with this we pass special needles through the meniscus and these are two needles which are connected by two zero UHMWP wire which is very very strong. It is a stronger suture than even the Athibond suture and we pass it serially starting from the anterior horn and we proceed to the body and then to the posterior horn. We try to cover both the upper leaf and the lower leaf of the meniscus while doing this technique and we will see and appreciate that the meniscus is reducing into its position very nicely as and on we go for the repair sequentially so as is as and on we go with sequential passing of the sutures and the needles the meniscus reduces into its particular position so here we are passing the sutures into the body of the meniscus. So anterior horn, posterior horn and the body all can be covered nicely. We need to give a small, you can see that now that is very nice whole of the meniscus is covered and it is reduced nicely. We have put total 13 inside out sutures with a posterior safety incision and we can see that the bucket handle tear is very nicely reduced into its own position. Here what we can see that there is on the posterior horn the under surface part is still not reduced and it is there. Now this this particular area is difficult to reach with the inside out technique. So in this particular patient we are using a technique which is the most advanced technique this is called as a jugger stitch technique and this device is called as a jugger stitch device uh, the peculiarity of this device is this is an all suture all inside device which can be used to approach the posterior horn so here what we are doing is we are approaching the posterior most part of the posterior horn that is that also the inferior leaf and the bluish portion you can see is actually the implant which is uh, implanted on the posterior part. So there is a very nice sleek greenish color handle uh, which is used to uh, penetrate and there is a black, black device which is used to fire it. So we can see that we can just put it onto the inferior leaf, we can fire it once it is fired we can take it out back this is a jugger stitch device from zimmer biomet and then we can take it out like this and then we can insert it on the inferior part of the leaf and as soon as we insert it on the inferior part of the leaf the two of the devices are locked into their position 
and then there are two sutures one suture is of blue color and one is of the white color and there is a sequential tensioning mechanism the first blue one will, will tight it up that will lock the first one and this then there is an interlocking mechanism so we'll just pull out the white suture and that will actually tension the suture and push the knot inside you can see that the knot is pushed inside in a special fashion so once it is tensioned we can see that the inferior flap is reduced very very nicely so once this flap is reduced we will use our special instrument that is a knot pusher knot cutter and that will actually help us to reduce the flap to its own position and this suture can be actually used as a tensioning suture and because we have done the upper leaves with the inside out technique the lower leaf of the poster horn we'll do we are doing but this particular technique and this actually leads to a very nice and a comprehensive repair of the meniscus in a very nice fashion and the beauty of this technique is there is no metal or plastic implant inside everything that is inside is sutures only and which is non-reactive even if some something pops out it is all sutures and it is non-reactive so this particular technique has got a very low good uh, results very good uh, success rate along with very low uh, complication rate because there is no metallic or plastic implants inside friends if you want to know anything more about this special technique of meniscus repair you can definitely reach us on the comment box and i would like to uh, you to subscribe to our channel thanks a lot